Cranford. Today I'm here to show you a technique called faux tearing and um, we're going to use a couple really beautiful stamp sets and we're going to create this sunset look and these um, really pretty grassy knoll looks. So let's get started. First you're going to need a, a piece of um, very vanilla paper and this is cut at three and three quarters by four and I'm just going to use a um, junky little piece of red paper that I've got hanging around to, to do my stamping. So I'm using the Serene Silhouettes stamp set. It is beautiful. I got this set specifically for this tree. I love all of the, the images, but this tree reminds me of my grandpa. And so I just thought it was a really sweet um, stamp set to have for him. Um, he's still alive. He has not left us yet. He's almost 90 years old and um, he owns 40 acres, him and my grandma, and they have just a beautiful piece of property. So I'm just using early espresso and I'm patting it onto the stamp itself. Anyway, they have a beautiful piece of property and they have lots of oak trees on their property. And so this tree just reminded me of one of their beautiful oaks. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp on this edge here and let a little bit of the tree just go off the edge. I also like this stamp set because I feel like it, it um, can be very masculine. And so I could really, um, I have the ability to really spin this stamp set either way. So there's my tree. And now I'm going to go ahead and do all of my um, faux ink. Okay, I'm back and I have my image stamped and I'm going to go ahead and start my faux tearing technique. I'm going to start with always artichoke to do my grassy knolls. And as you can see, all you have to do is take a piece of paper and just rip any design you want in it. Then you're going to lay it down on the part that you want to ink. You're going to cover the area that you don't want ink on. So I'm taking my sponge and I'm just going to, I just dipped my finger in ink, oh well. Um, I'm just going to ink up my sponge a little here and I'm going to start on the this paper so that when I pull down I'm getting a more subtle look onto the, the image below. So I'm just going to go like this and then just pick up a little more ink. And now when I lift this off, I've got grassy looking area down there. So now I'm going to go ahead and do my sky. Now I'm doing multiple colors uh, in my sky. I'm going to be using um, the lightest first, which is So Saffron. So I'm going to go ahead and get out my So Saffron here and I'm going to start it down kind of low into the tree, like so. Now I have my So Saffron sponge. You don't want to mix sponges. So I'm going to start here and just kind of ink and pull at the same time. I'm not pulling too much over this early espresso because I don't want it to, to smear a bunch of brown into my image. Okay? And I don't really care about up here getting a bunch of ink because I'm going to be adding more inks. So that gives me a little bit of a skyline there. And then I'm going to move on and I'm going to go up some to the next level and I'm going to use um, my a new in color, Summer Star Fruit. And let me grab that inker. Okay. And then same thing, just pulling ink just like that. And I'm going to lift it off. And then I'm going to use a little bit of pink 
because you know in skylines often there's some pink so I'm gonna just do that right here and this is um, pretty in pink that I'm using And I'm not going um, real crazy with the pink. I just want it to be very subtle and warm. I don't, you know, um, I don't want it to be like a bright pink there. So there's my little pink. And then I'm going to go ahead and lastly, just at the very top edge here, I'm going to use uh, some pumpkin pie to throw in some of that orange that we see in sunsets. Now, really a sunset would start dark at the bottom and work its way up uh, to lighter colors, but unfortunately, in faux inking, I don't have the luxury of doing that because you have to start with your lighter colors. Otherwise your dark won't let them show. So, And then I'm just going around the edge here to add in my pumpkin pie. So there we go. So now I've got all of my colors that I wanted in a very interesting looking sky. I really love how it turned out. And then I'm going to go ahead and use um, a sentiment from my Trust God stamp set. And the sentiment I'm using is, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. And I'm using black stays on. And I'm just going to stamp right here next to the tree in that empty space. So I think that turned out very nice. Now you're just going to need, um, I have a piece of early espresso here, and it is cut at four by four and a quarter. I'm going to use my Snell adhesive and just place this down. I think because this is such a pretty card, it really doesn't need much else. It, I mean, just with some matting, it's just beautiful. So, um... And then I, I used a piece of crumb cake, and it's cut at 8.5 by 4.5, and, and I'm folding it in half, and it will make a 4 and a quarter by 4 and a half size card, which is kind of an unusual size, but I don't mind. I like it. It's kind of nice to have different size cards. And then I'm just going to layer this on top of there. And voila, there we have it. Very simple technique, very quick, very easy, and it's such fun to do. So I hope you all really enjoyed this video. Don't forget, right now I'm still offering 20% off on anything you order from me through June 30th. So go ahead and take advantage of that. You can either email me your order or you can order online and receive a rebate check for 20% the following week. Thanks so much and have a wonderful day, everybody. Bye-bye.